Hello and welcome. Silver is here with Conan Exiles. And this thing be continues. Age of War. Now, I've been thinking a little before I started recording here of what I want to do. So I'll, I'll uh, outline, outline my plans. For one, I want to start getting a thrall soon. So we're going to start doing that like right now. But... So, so that, that's kind of, kind of a, what, what was going to happen in this episode. Anyway. However, however, there is the thought process that... Because I, like I mentioned, I want to prepare for the upcoming purge changes. However, I don't know if they will change it so that the purge actually hits this river area where it doesn't hit right now. So maybe if they keep that, I want to have another sandstone base... Somewhere where it will be hit by a purge. So we might build a sandstone base like um, somewhere either here or somewhere around here. I'm kind of liking this as an option. As the, uh, I am thinking of this as the primary location where I put the base. Um, Partially because then I can also utilize the fact that their Sinner's Refuge cave is here and there is very good thralls there. But then again, I mean, this over here doesn't really matter for that cave access. So I think, like, one of these locations... Let's let's go have a look at those locations. Maybe at the end of the episode. First, before I go and get a thralling going, and I, I did a little preparation for the, uh, for the thrall action. But before I do that, I'm gonna go swim over there and grab the iron so that it starts, you know, respawn cycle and all of that. So let's grab the iron first and then we go, then we go grab other stuff after that. Do, do I have a skinning knife? I do. So we could also, on the way back, slaughter some crocodiles and, 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 um... You know, get some get some uh, skinning going. Get some leather going. Now, thrall wise, I'm gonna reveal right now what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go. What the heck? Why am I sprinting? Because you're gonna sprint swim like forever. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh right, yeah, the thralling. Rolling. Lost my train of thought there with this sprint swim because this is insane. Anyways, 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 anyways. Like I'm a marathon sprint, uh, sprint swimmer. Those two don't usually go together. <laughs> anyways, anyways. The thrall I want is uh, is a Thagra. Now I did a little bit of looking around at what changed in the Age of War. And Thangra has been massively buffed, and apparently, well, not massively, but essentially Thangra and apparently Cannibal Brood are now the top of the, top of the two, the, the two top damage-wise thralls, which is really surprising to me. This is really surprising to me. Then again, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. It kind of makes... Actually, let's be honest. It kind of makes sense that uh, it would be, like... Cannibals would be, you know, somebody who's really good at, at whacking people to get more, you know, food. Uh, anyway. The fact is that even before... Even before that particular change of Thagra being the... King of Damage, I would still go for Thagra as the first thrall. Unless I put my first base in the north, in which case I would go for the Basaka because of the guaranteed Basaka spawn. But down here in the south, Thagra is really easy to get. And if you don't know how and how he is really easy to get, well, watch this episode or, or skip ahead. And and you will you will come to it because I'm going to try and get Thagra at level Thagra here. Uh, you can technically get Thagra at level ten as soon as you get yourself things done. Uh, however, I'm gonna I'm going to do that at 
What am I now? Level 15. Something level 15. Because I've been doing other things than getting frost. And I was thinking for a while to, you know, wait level th until level 30 to get a thrall and all of that good stuff because that kind of makes sense when you are playing multiplayer. It, kind of, it sort of makes sense at that point of like, let's just wait a little while and then get the... Um, let's get these so we get some wines to turn into... Into, into... Wines. So... Let's just wait until like level 30 and and so on. All of that good stuff. Just you get level 30 fairly quickly. You just wander around for a while and, and so on. Suddenly you are level 30. And then then you, what you do is uh, you just... Oh! Hello. Okay. Well, I'm guessing... I guess I'm killing you now. Oh jeez, that that spin around came a lot faster than I thought. So it's two attacks and a dodge. Huh. Yeah, that the fact this this axe cri does cripple now makes this fight uh, this fight uh, boss fight so much easier. Axe is actually usable now for PvE. Of course, this is the easier way to kill crocodiles. You just whack it once and then you run around a lot in a circle or dodge. I should be dodging a lot more because of that stamina regeneration change. This is... Holy moly, this is silly. Okay. I need a spear. Oh. Right, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we just we just absolutely murdered a <laughs> one skull boss. Okay. Fine. Uh, granted, the crocodile one skull is not exactly difficult. It's never been exactly difficult because of well, Bob, as in the combat mechanics of the crocodile are easy to deal with. You just walk in a circle or dodge in a circle and do the whole, you know, make an attack and, and whatnot. I was kind of risking it with the multiple attacks between dodges and between movement. It's much safer to do just one attack and then move around until it does its lunge attack and then you are free to do your hit again. Uh, well, that's the experimentation I want to do with this new combat system of like, what can I get away with instead of just doing like always what is safe because if you don't push that boundary of what is always safe then you never actually or at least personally uh, I think you never actually get better and you never find out just what you can get away with especially against different monster types which have kind of predictable attack patterns anyway so that was successful <laughs> Eh, can toss the feral flesh. I have enough food to last me a while. Also, I did make a bow just to just to clarify that I have a bow now because bows are really good um, for getting thralls and basic flint arrows because uh, you can you can clear camps much easier by attacking a lone target with a bow and pulling it away from the camp or from the rest of the pack and whatnot. You might aggro an entire pack if you just walk in there. But with a bow, you can possibly get things one by one. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, we need some sandstone and, and stuff to make... Well, we can, we can get sandstone over that. Where was it? Here we go. Do something with those, thanks. Uh, right. And you, you do something with those. Okay then, don't work. Fine. Sometimes I don't know. I, I don't get it why those those buttons don't sometimes work. Uh, I had branches. Let's save the branches for now. Also, I have this random wooden box. You can hold on to it. Actually, I have enough stone and wood to 
probably do the stuff. Uh, cut. Yeah, let's carry the sickle with me. Why, why the fluff not? Let's carry the sickle with me. And more aloe. More aloe is good. The seeds here. Because I do want aloe seeds. Put the glowing essences here. Mm. And you. Plant fiber. And then... What I do is I drop the... Should have done that while I was here anyway. The iron there. Another couple hundred iron bars. Now. Now we go and get thralls. I store my stuff here. I made gruel. Uh, I made enough stuff to, you know, a couple truncheons, a couple uh, fibers. And I have enough stuff here to build a wooden box. And another one of these, 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 these things. Now, truncheon is not exactly very good. Especially... This is actually a question now. What do I do with my points? Do I... I don't want irritate first. Oh, hello. Are you a... Okay, you are not a boss. If you were a boss, I would have fought you. Just to find out if I can do that. Uh, I don't want irritate first. Because... With irritate... Uh, I don't to force them to attack your follower. This th this is how you get low level thralls killed. Especially when you don't still have very good armor for them, and I I don't. I can't. I don't have access to heavy armors yet. I haven't gone killing any rhinos yet. We'll, we'll do that at some point. Obviously we will. But I'm I'm not trying to really like rush to the end game. I've mentioned this before. I want to. Go at this little slower pace, and and so on. Explore the world again. Make, make it feel like it is like new and stuff. Make, make it feel like that again. Because I have done too much multi multiplayer uh, server stuff where I just you know go north from level one onwards, uh, build a base, just prepare everything in the north. If you watch my my online play series last. The last one, uh, last play, last of online um, play. I did exactly that. Like my first first base was like here. So there, there is that. Just to point that out, that uh, you know, uh, for one, it is really doable to go straight north. And and for two, it is also really effective and really efficient way of of getting things done. Because down here, down in the south, you see how far I am running to get iron and ore, iron and coal from where I put my first base at. I saw that in the previous episode, actually. I had to come all the way here to grab a whole lot of iron and coal. But right now, we, we, I, am, I am just setting a little outpost up here. Man, I really want to try some other weapons too, but we will wait just a little, just a little, get some other things done, and then then we mess around with weapons more. But want to get myself some thralls. Now, what was I thinking on this? So I don't want irritate. Maybe I go grit for that extra twenty stamina, and see if that would allow me to actually be able to do four hit combos. Or with heavy, heavy combos, that is. Alright. So we are here. If you know where... If, if you are a veteran of this game and you know where Thagra is, then you obviously know where we are going. Uh, Cannibal Brutes you can find over there, if you don't know where that is, that's the summoning place right here. Map coordinates, if you're interested, like this. That's summoning place, that's where you can find Cannibal Brutes and a whole lot of other other cannibals. <laughs> yeah. But Thagra stand is that one over there, behind this little thing, and we're gonna get a Thagra from there, but first... I want to use this location here to build. To build. 
Give me that. And we can do um, building pieces. Foundations. Like right here. Right here in the middle. 3 by 3. 3 by 3. Maybe we make one larger so I can do. So I can also put the. Burned all my stone. No, stone is easy to get. Um, now where where is it? Wooden box, like right here. Thank you. There is like a million stone right around here, so that's not exactly an issue. This is also why I, in case you're wondering, this is kind of why I run around and and run around with all of my gathering tools, especially early on when I am undecided of what I'm doing at any given time. So I want to have access to all of my crap so that I can do stuff. And these things don't cost uh, so much materials that if you lose them, it doesn't really matter that much. At this point, I can just leave them here for a short moment. Uh, let's make sure that is all set. Mm, I'm gonna put this campfire here. I'm gonna put this campfire here so that I can make uh, uh, more gruel here if needed. Actually give some use to the campfire as well. And put these things here. Thank you. Fiber bindings, and now, well, I should I should have brought a um, bedroll. Do I do I double check this because do I ensure that everything goes fine? I think I do. So I need branches and plant fiber. Branches are easy. There is branches all over the place, like right here. Thank you. And plant fiber I can get easy enough. This is this is one of those like little things of when you played the game long enough you kind of don't realize that you kind of want 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 uh, you know some safety net <laughs> and especially because I have no idea how this fight is gonna go with Pagra now mm, let's eat that. That gives me enough plant fiber to last a little while. Get this thing done. Thank you very much. We have done, but uh, made one, you know, between episodes to 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 not spend time on it here. But however, doesn't exactly matter now, does it? Um. Right there. Okay. Perfect. Now we are all set for getting some agro action going. You know what? Let's put the wood in the campfire so we have... Oh, uh, actually, no, let's not. I am being indecisive right now. If there is so much coal around here, we can use that as the fuel for when we need it. Okay. Before I get Fagra, let's check what, what are you... What are you? There is one lone guy around here. And if he's like a fighter one or something, we can you for an archer one. Archer three. Who are you? We are a soldier. Oh man, there's a lot of you guys who aggro through here. That's fine. We'll we'll let them uh, reset. Oh, god damn! I forgot one of them is an archer. I kind of want that archer three. Then again, doesn't matter in, if I get the if I get Thagra. Um, the idea there with that particular uh, checkup was to see if I can possibly another one. Okay. I would like this soul. archer to reset. And get, just get the Tanner. 
I don't think that is happening though. There's another alone one over there. That I could check. What I'm doing here is... is well... Reminder, this is being played in single player, so I have lowered the amount of time it takes to get a, a, a thrall done in the Wheel of Pain. So I was thinking of just, you know, checking if that, in case that is like a Fighter 1. Fighter 1, or something along those lines. Just to pull the Fighter 1 in the Wheel of Pain, and then go get Thagra. Because that Fighter 1 would be done by the time I get Thagra dragged in here. So that was kind of the idea there. That was the idea behind that. Um, oh yeah. Let's make sure of that. And I just realized that I don't actually have a million bandages like I usually do. So let's fix that a little bit. Let's sort that out a little bit. And have a snack. Or some health regen. I do have the uh, passive uh, slow health regen. This is the this is another easy one right here, which could be, which is a, a, a solo person, which is easy to get. Usually an archer. Oh, it's a fighter. That is the fighter one I was looking for. That was a really surprising uh, three attack combo out of a fighter one. Usually the fighter one combos have been uh, a thrust or a, a you know a two two hit combos out of uh, fighter ones. So that caught me a little off uh, off there. I don't mind that was that was interesting. All right, now stick the fighter one in the wheel of pain, and then while we get Thagra. This guy will be done. And frankly, yeah, like this. And frankly, uh, the reason, in case you're thinking that he's cheating and stuff to lower the... Uh, essentially make it faster for these guys to come out of the Wheel of Pain. This is played in single player. When I lo when I stop playing, everything in the game stops. This is not the online world. On an online server, on an online server, uh, you can, you know, put the dude in the wheel of pain and go do and then log out, and he will be finished as long as obviously you have food there and stuff. Now, this is where I want the ball. Okay, I don't want the ball. I want to whack these guys. Fighter one. Oh, that is a really short leash distance. Holy moly, that is a really short leash distance. Okay. Fighter two. Maybe I grab a couple of low, low level fighters into. To protect my newbie base. Okay. You're hiding behind your shield. Okay, this is this is fighting more like a fighter one I uh, would expect. Like one or two hits only. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm getting a few few uh crappy thralls to defend my newbie base. And also, then I will have a, a thrall to run around with while while I'm waiting for Thagara to come out on the Wheel of Pain, because that is still going to take a while. Normally, on a on a tier one basic uh, Wheel of Pain, as in this level one Wheel of Pain, it takes 24 hours. It takes 24 hours to finish a tier four thrall, which. Thagra is obviously tier 4. Um, what did I need to repair this? Leather. Alright. That is going to be a little bit of an issue. Now, that's why I actually made two truncheons. Because 
Those are gonna break while I fight Tagra. <laughs> At least one of them is gonna break while I fight, fight Tagra. Hopefully two is enough. We will find out. Two used to be enough. But I will find out. Okay, so I wanna kill you. Oh! TR4 Archer? Okay. Oh, that guy's back. Okay. Screw TR4 Archer. I want Thagra instead of you. Okay, these guys at least hit hard. Man, okay, archers are, are a little bit of an issue now. Archers hit a lot harder than before. They still break, though. As in, they, they stop doing stuff once. Okay. Man, that, that would have been nice. I uh, If I wasn't here for my first Tagra, uh, I would have probably gotten that guy. Just to have another, like, a tier 4 archer running around or sitting around in the base. Just for just for the novelty factor. But the, fa but the fact is, I am here for the first Thagra. I need to start making better bandages, huh? Which means I need a lot of leather. Alright. Let's slaughter you and... Whoa, okay. How about there's a mi like a million of you and one of you guys has daggers? Which is... That's a medicine now. That is awesome. Those guys are dead now. And so are you. Um, I am looting all of you for free stuff. Definitely looting all of you for free stuff. Now... Three iron arrows. Okay. Now we uh, grab a sated buff. And go and get Tagra and then I check the rest of this camp. Man. Case me out here. I will feast upon so I have room to room to maneuver around. Okay, you still do the same combat as ever before. With this stamina region, this guy is probably gonna be a lot easier to actually capture than before. Alright. Yeah, you do you still do the same combat as before, which is fine. This means that I can also use healing powers. Like. Oh man, I just realized that this stamina change is gonna make healing potion use so much easier. Actually. Because you will always have during during the animation that it takes to drink, you, your stamina will always have regened enough that you can. Now he does the. I will drink that. Your blood. Yeah, I think two of these will still be enough. Holy moly! That that realization just made made combat so easy. Or so much easier now. So yeah, this is how you get Tagra. I will drink your blood. Clear the camp, then fight him. You still kind of have, would have wanted that tier four archer. Well, we, we can we can get the R4 archers out of Sepamero. Let's make sure he doesn't... Because the least distance on that archer 3 was really short. So let's make... Make sure that he doesn't leash too far. There is the second hit of his usual combo. Here it is. Oh, 
Man, you are still as easy as before. You get it. I need to switch Tronchin now before that one breaks. Boy. I will feast upon you. Yeah, you can still do do Thagra with two basic Tronchins. And the fight seem takes about the same amount of time, so you can do Thagra at level 10 still. As soon as soon as you get your first 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 um Wheel of Pain Axis, which is level 10. You can come here and get Thagra. Then you have apparently, what is apparently right now, the top tier damage-wise fighter in Age of War. Uh, prone to change. Note that, no, note that thing, it might change. Let's loot their box before I go. And now we drag Thagra into the Wheel of Pain. And we have Thagra. Oh man, this is real nice. This is real nice. Yeah, while, while Thagra is, is finishing up in, in here, I might run the two other Darfari home and also do a little bit of... Uh, let's take you out of here. And put Thagra here. We run those two guys home from here. That might be a pretty decent plan, actually. Uh, what materials do I stay, take home with me? Do I care about taking... You know what, this stuff can stay here. Let's take the stone and the wood home. Don't need to make this any bigger right now. And then I will come back here and get a whole lot of uh, coal and iron while Thagra is finishing up in there. That seems like a plan. And I need to start hunting these things for the hides. To make myself a light armor set. Through that, I think I'm gonna be in medium or heavy armor this entire time. Because of the stamina changes. And again, I do want to fight in light armor at some point to figure out like what sort of a difference does this does this make for for light armor fighting. Do I drag somebody into the wheel of pain at home? There is this one lone guy always here, although he's surrounded by birds, which makes him a little annoying to get. Makes him a little annoying to get. Ooh, I can go get that lone guy from the hilltop, from the cliffside, Hill hillside, what, whatever, whatever. I should probably also have a look see here. Man, these stamina changes. I, I, I am trying to understand right now why they really wanted this cha stamina change like this. Because there has to be some other major change coming for this stamina change to make sense. Because so far, I think uh, the stamina change has made combat easier. You would only think that if you have a uh, high-end armor and are able to tank multiple heads anyway, because then you could then you could essentially turn fights into a DPS race with certain things where you just you know you just tank their damage while you beat on them with with um you just stand there and exchange blows. You can do that with some things, certain things, but mostly you've had to dodge anyway. So the fights would have, fights generally have been um, dodge, attack, dodge, attack, or run in circle, attack, run in circle, attack. And for that, those fights, the stamina change has made those fights easier. Let's just put it that way. So much easier.
At least that's my uh, f my, my uh, gut feeling so far from having having messed around with it. I have a couple of dark forest fighters now. I need to make some torches here to light the place up during the during the night time. That will make sense, huh? Anyway, let's uh, just play some some dudes. Darfari fighters standing guard duty outside of my my huts, huh? You guys need you guys need some actual armor, huh? Yeah, we will we'll get to the whole armor business in a moment. Now I needed needed to repair these truncheons with leather. There we go, and repair that, and repair that. Okay, perfection. I mean the two truncheons. I have lots of random trash, we can just... I need more boxes, huh? I need more boxes if I'm gonna st store all this random trash. I don't think I need iron head arrows, though. Glass flasks I will definitely need. Bug soup. Fine, we will eat the bog soup. <laughs> Sorcerer, Sorcerer's skull still drop? Okay, well, apparently they do. Purified water is really nice. Let's keep that. Those are trash we don't need. Oh, right. I got hides and I got leather. And fiber over there. Oh, it's leather. I need more iron. Actually, I probably don't need that much more iron, considering I have a whole lot over here. here. So let's drop the iron bars here, and can I make some medium paddings again? Oh right, I needed the twines. Huh? Well, we can go get more twines. But, before I me mess around with any of that, let's eat some salted berries. Yeah, you can eat darkery box over in a little. Let's go get one more thrall. Let's, let's just let, let let this be just thrall getting a bit out, huh? Get one more thrall. And while I am at it, let's check this base location. I left all my tools there with the, with Thagra because my intention was to go back there. Anyway, to to do a whole lot of like iron and coal gathering while pulverizing the wheel, then I will do that after I get this thrall and check this base location. This is a this is a very nice uh, starter base location from the point of view that um, there is no hostile spawn right on it. And I'm talking about this particular uh, little cliffside here. So there is hyenas over there on top of this this little mound. What the heck do you call that? And there is more hyenas in that direction and up there. However, right here there are no hostile spawns. Making this nice, nice area to build. Like there is bunch of flat ground right here to build and you can even extend it on top of that or down here with no hostiles right here makes this a very nice area to build not to mention the the sinner's refuge is in, in this direction let's save stamina stamina a little to do a little bit of climbing get up here sinner's refuge helps well there is a lot of really good uh, thrall spawns in there and there is a dude on top of there at the. Yep. Now I can see. Now, now you may be able to see it against the darkened night sky. That guy is always alone. However, there is a camp up here, which has a couple thralls. This camp here. Where's my girl? Yes, you are. All right. Who are you guys? Uh, one of you has a spear. Blacksmith too. Okay. I 
kind of want that blacksmith. of a blacksmith. That will make make some of my weapons better. Slightly. Slightly better. Well, after I start crafting the weapons anyway. Go right through here. Well, that made that made li uh, life easier. Hi there. Oh, the boss one. He's a boss. Okay, let's reset these things and then uh, go and fight that boss. Damn, and I don't have my skinning knife. Okay, you 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 stay here. You stay here. Um. Well, I go and get myself a new skinning knife. Damn! I knew I should shouldn't have left all the tools there, huh? Okay. Right. Well, this gets me hide. I was talking about getting hide. So. We can use we can use the hide for stuff. Okay. Awesome. Um, let's put the stone dagger away. Okay, let's fight another boss. Come on. Okay, there's a whole lot of you. Let's find out how, how back fights go. Ooh, I dodged into the creature. Huh? Do your jump. Do your jump. Hmm? Holy moly. This stamina change made this stuff so much easy. I can I can just evade these things forever. And that thing is dead now. That thing is dead now. Okay, come on, do your attack. There we go. Healing potion into dodge, into dodge. Man, healing potions are so easy to use now. Holy crap! Healing potions are like insanely, insanely easy, easy to use now. Ah. Dodge, attack. Attack, dodge. I am trying to overdo this dodge attack combination a little bit more. I should just wait for him to do his attacks. Like in all, in, like in seriousness, they do you know? Just wait for that. <laughs> uh, holy moly! Potion of bestial memory. All right. Yeah, that's a lot of hide. That's a lot of hide I just got. Okay, now I can. <laughs> if I want to use the hide to make armors, I can now. Damn, man! Damn. Yeah, most of the research attribute points. I don't, I don't need any of those. I could have just waited until they uh, 
Because these things expire really quickly. You could have just waited for them to expire out of my inventory, but that's fine. Let's eat some bug soup. You need it, gruel. All right. I'm gonna call it an episode right here. I'm just gonna get this blacksmith going and whatnot and do uh, put stuff in things and so on. And, you know, get ready to go to Thagra and, and get, uh, catch more materials. Thank you very much for watching. That was exciting and fun. I will see you folks next time with more Conan Exiles.